Continuing our segment on uh, the data analysis tool pack, in this video segment, uh, I'm going to demonstrate how to do a t test using data analysis tool pack. Uh, again, referencing to the same data set. So, this is a car data set. Each row is a car. For each car, we have various features. For example, the manufacturer, BMW, Cadillac, Chevrolet, Dodge, etc., the model of the car, sales figures. The price of the car, the type, whether it's an SUV or a non-SUV car, the engine size in liters, horsepower, wheelbase, the size, weight, fuel capacity and the mileage of the car. Now for example, we have to do an analysis. Uh, does the type of car SUV versus non-SUV impact the mileage of the car? An easy way to do this uh, would be to check uh, the average mileage for both of these types. And we can do that uh, easily enough. For example, here I'm just going to pivot out, say insert pivot table, and I'm going to drag type into row labels, and then I'm going to check the mileage for each of these two types. So by default, it's coming into count. I'll change this to the average. I'll filter out blanks. So it shows that the average of an SUV, SUV is the binary option one, is little lower than the non-SUV. So the average uh, mileage is 23.86. For non-SUVs it goes up to 25. For SUVs it it's, uh, decreases down to 19.7. You know, but this is simply the average that we are calculating. Uh, the question we need to ask ourselves is, uh, is this difference between the two types of cars, this difference in average, about uh, 6 miles per gallon, is it significant and more importantly, is it significant at the 95% confidence level, something which we can only do by looking or doing a t-test. While visually we might say the difference is very large, but without looking or knowing the variance of the data and the number of observations we are dealing with, uh, we can't say with uh, you know absolute or let's say statistical certainty. So in this case, I'm just going to do a uh, a two sample t-test over here and uh, the way to do it in Excel itself is to use the data analysis tool pack. In case you don't have the data analysis tool pack, you can go to file over here, click on options, go to add-ins, click on manage add-ins, Excel add-ins over here, go. If it's unchecked, check against the analysis tool pack box over here, press OK. And the data analysis tool pack option should come over here on the extreme right hand side in the data option in your ribbon. Click on data analysis tool pack. Here I'm going to select. So we've got various kinds of tests over here. We can do an ANOVA on this as well. We can do an F test also. But I'm going to do a T test over here, two sample T test. The two samples being uh, the SUVs and non SUVs. Right. Before I do that, uh, Excel uh, Data Analysis Tool Pack, while it can do all of these tests, it's not very, very uh, powerful as compared to SPSS or R. So I need to know a few options over here before we do that. We need to make sure the, the variables that we are selecting as the two samples are, or let's say, contiguous with each other. In this case, the variable is the same variable. And I'm going to have to select a subset of it. So I see the data set has a say, smattering of you know sedan, sorry SUVs and non-SUVs. So how do I separate it out? One way we can easily do this, I sort the data set by type. For example, I just sort it by type, smallest to largest or largest to smallest doesn't make a difference. The reason I'm doing it is so that when I select the two samples, I can use one selection for each sample. An Excel data analysis tool pack doesn't allow you to select uh, different selection areas for the same sample here. So I can see up till row number 41, if I do a selection over here, it will all be SUVs and 41 till the end will be non-SUVs. So I've sorted it by type. The other way is you can you know, drag and drop and create two different uh, columns, one for SUVs, one for non-SUVs as well. So I click on data analysis, t-test. Uh, we've got two options, equal variances and unequal variances. Uh, we haven't done any background check. So when in doubt, always go for unequal variances because, because it can handle both. Press OK. You will see that there are two options for variable 1 range and variable 2 range. Right? Uh, by default, they'll be empty. Right? So here I can select two different variables. 
right but i'm going to select a part of the same variable the part of the same column itself that's why i've sorted it so i select the suv portion so suv portion will start from variable or row number 2 till the time i hit zeros on column a so that goes up till variable 40 or row number 41 so as you can see from 42 non sedan start so all of the selection over here uh, is pertaining to suvs i'll select sedans after that variable 2 range variable 2 range will start from row number 42 and it will go all the way till the end now in case you actually overlap the two selections the data analysis tool pack will actually give you an error i don't get an error so i've done the selection correctly right labels in case you have created two different columns you can use the labels option but uh, i've used part of the same column here i don't need to click on labels as of now hypothesized mean difference i'm assuming uh, that both the uh, means are the same or i'm checking whether there the significant difference between them or not you don't need to put in zero but uh, if you leave it also by default it will take zero alpha value we are checking it against that 5% or 95% confidence level i want the output on a new worksheet i press okay on an i see a different tab gets open so here i've got variable 1 where the mean was 19.7 as hypothesized uh, right for variable 2 it's 25.32 which again corresponds to over here 25.32 right now we've get got the variance it's good that we used unequal variances because i see the variance in the two variables looks to be quite different to each other we've got body uh, observations in one variable set 113 observations in the other variable set we get the t start and then we get the p values against each so this is a two sample uh, so this is a two tail test because the difference can lie on any side right so i look at the t critical for two tail 1.9 and i see the p value is 0.00 so the p value is much lower than the the 5% of the 0.05 cut off that we take hence the difference between these two variables or these two samples is significant at 5% level in fact it will be significant at even 1% level i e the difference between these two samples or difference between a sedan and an suv in terms of mileage is statistically significant at 0.05 as well as 0.01 level and that's uh, how we can do a simple t test using the data analysis tool pack itself